Hi, my name is Renata Silva. I'm a psychiatrist working in a research group for the University of São Paulo, Brazil. I would like to share with you a systematic review that our group conducted to evaluate factors regarding transcranial direct current stimulation and obsessive compulsive disorder. Firstly, why study neuromodulation and OCD? OCD is a neuropsychiatric disorder with a lifetime prevalence of 2 to 3 percent. Even with first line treatment, one third of patients remain significantly ill. The growing knowledge of the neurobiology of OCD has facilitated the development of treatments involving neuromodulation. The DCS is a neuromodulation technique that that has been used for the treatment of psychiatry disorders such as depression. This treatment has a good tolerability profile. There are some studies evaluation TDCS and OCD. These studies have positive findings. However, most of them are uncontrolled studies and with some limitations. There is no consistent evidence for this treatment. However, OCD is a very heterogeneous disorder with regards to clinical presentation, clinical severity, and comorbidities. What patients have been selected for these studies? Based on it, we conducted a systematic review to evaluate clinical characteristics of these selected patients and also to discuss perspective for future studies. On systematic review, we have selected 12 manuscripts. The profile of patients reported is adults with severe OCD, with psychiatric comorbidities, medicated at the time of assessment, and resistant to at least one previous conventional treatment. We could not find any studies which included specific population, such as adolescents, elderly, pregnant, and breastfeeding participants. Similarly, the potential use of TDCS has not been tested in patients with less severe OCD as a first treatment option or for those who do not tolerate pharmacological treatments. These opportunities should be explored in future control trials.